Second Peter chapter 1 and verse 20. Go ahead, read on. Knowing this first. The first thing you must know, my sister, you hear that? The first thing you must know, the Bible says what? Knowing this first. Uh -huh. That no prophecy of the scriptures. No prophecy of the Bible. Go ahead. Is of any private interpretation. My brother, did you hear that? What's going on, bro? Can I talk to you for a second? Come on. You want to away from your brother? What's going on, bro? My name is Obadiah. What's your name? Alright, so we going over the scripture. Right? Let me ask you a question. What color is Christ? If you don't mind me asking. Black, how do you know that? Huh? How do you know that? Because I'm Muslim. Because you're Muslim. What? Okay. Alright. So let's deal with that. You're Muslim. A black man is a Muslim. Right? Let me ask you this very question. Where did you learn that very religion? Or the way of life or ideology, whatever you call it. Because I, I don't know. From, from my first from my question is from Christianity. Your you said from your question? From my question is from Christianity. Meaning what? Meaning that there was things that didn't make sense to me. So there were things in Christianity that didn't make sense to you. So because you your question was not being answered, mm -hmm. you find a different way, correct? Right. Okay. So what was one of the questions that you asked the Christian that could answer you or that didn't make sense to you? There was a few questions. One give me, of, give me, give me, give me a few. We're gonna, we're gonna do them one by one. One of them being though that uh, uh, the Bible clearly shows that uh, Jesus, Jesus, what we call as Esau, wasn't born. Was born in the summer months and we celebrating Christmas during December. Okay, repeat that one more time. They, they, they told you that Jesus was born what? In the summer months. Well, well, Christmas is celebrated during the uh, winter months. During the winter months, right? And then the, the Bible says that his hair was like wool. Okay, very good. Okay, so let's do with that. We're going to deal with the color of Christ, which you already know. And we're also going to deal with the question you asked the question, and they did not, they weren't able to answer your question. So can we deal with that, my brother? Because we're going to clarify that for you. Because uh, they, don't, they don't know the Bible. Christianity does not know the Bible. Right. So we're going to show that Christ was never born in December. He was never born in a in the dead of winter. It's impossible. We're gonna show you that. You gonna bear with us? We're gonna show you that. Give me uh, Luke chapter two. Let's start there first. What we're gonna show you, Christ was born in the Passover, and he died in the Passover. Okay, give me that. Luke chapter no, two. No, actually, give me color of Christ first, and then we're gonna double back to uh, uh, I am Alpha and Omega. Give me Revelation one and one. Revelation chapter one. And verse 1. Take your time. Go ahead. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing of Jesus Christ. It's outer appearance. Because remember, who's speaking here? Who's speaking here? John the Revelator. That man walked with Christ. That was one of the 12. So that's 63 years later. All right? He's revealing. Why would he say, why would he say the revelation of Jesus Christ? Meanwhile, he walked with them. I'm going to show you why. Read. Which God gave unto him. Which God gave unto him to do what? To show unto his servant uh -huh. things which must surely come to pass. Because if I know you all these years, right? What reason do I have to describe how you look? There must be a reason, right? I'm going to show you the reason. Jump to verse 10. Verse 10. Come on. I was in the spirit of the Lord's day. I was in the spirit in the Lord's day. Go ahead. And heard behind me a great voice. He heard behind me. Remember. What happened to John the Revelator? He was cast away into an island called Patmos, right? They're trying to kill him, they couldn't kill him, and they just dump him there, right? Watch this, the most I reveal something to him. Read. Ask the trumpet. Read. Saying, I am Alpha and Omega. Wait a minute. Remember, we're going to deal with when he was born. He said, I am Alpha and Omega. Meaning he's the beginning and he's the end. Go ahead. The first and the last. The what? The first and the last. He's the first and he's the last. Meaning he reigned before he's gonna, he's gonna be the last one to take this kingdom. After America, it's a wrap. My brother, pay attention. Go ahead. And what thou seest. And what? And what thou seest. He said to John, whatever you see, do what? Write in a book. Read. And send it unto the seven churches. Remember, he turned. He heard behind him as a voice, as a trumpet. When he turned around, he said, the voice said to him, whatever you see, Write it in a book. Why? To send to the seven churches. Now let's see what John wrote. Read verse uh, 14. Verse 14. Read. His head 
and his hair. You know, so now John began to describe how the man that he saw, he turned around and looked. His head and his hairs, go ahead. Were white like wool. Come on. As white as snow. Read on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes were as a flame of fire, meaning what? Christ jumped wine in moderation. Go ahead. And his feet like unto fine brass. Now if we if you take your shoes off the the, the your feet is the same color as the rest of your body. Am I right or am I wrong? Right, go ahead. As if they burn in a furnace. As if they burn in a furnace. Now give me Colossians chapter 1, verse 15. Then we're gonna deal with when when was Christ born? But don't leave, bro. I gotta answer your question. See, you see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? You asked the question that you was confusing Christianity. Now you can't even stand to get the answer. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire. And it sat upon each of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and began to speak with other tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterance. And they were dwelling at Jerusalem, Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. Now when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded, because that every man heard them speak in his own language, and they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? And how hear we every man in our own tongue, wherein we were born? Psalms 19, verse 3. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Pagan ni paol, pagan lang, kote, yopatan ni vwayo. La kalom, walakadolokal, la ladis moe, fi hats o tahu. No hay lenguaje, ni palabras, ni es oida su voz. Il n'y a ni allocution, ni langage où leur voix n'est pas entendue. Ni être ni riche, ni golosi, qui est ni bil, slichen yik golos. Shihen, Jukyu no Sunset. Rasu koto naku, kataro koto naku, sono koi mo kikoi nai no ni. Sinza discorsi, e sinza parola, non è voce che si possa udire. Não há discurso, nem linguagem, onde sua voz não seja ouvida. Answer. Read what you got. Colossians chapter 1 and verse 15. Read. Who is the image of the invisible God? Who is the image of the invisible God? Read. The firstborn of every creature. What? The firstborn of every creature. Did you hear that, mama? Christ is the firstborn of every creature. Go ahead. For by him were all things created. For by him were all things created. Meaning what? From the very beginning. Go ahead. That are in heaven. Read. And that are in earth. That are in heaven and that are in earth. Go ahead. Visible and invisible. Visible and invisible. Go ahead. Whether by the whether by the thrones or dominions mm -hmm. or principalities uh -huh. or powers, uh -huh. all things were created by so him. That's going back to Genesis, the first chapter. We're not gonna go into um, into it, it's very deep, but we're gonna show you that Christ, hey brother man, I thought he was coming back. Yo, bro, bro, I thought he was coming back. Uh, now, get me, get me, um, where we at? Uh, Colossians. Colossians, right? Now, get me uh, Christ. Uh, Luke, chapter two. Let's get that. Luke, chapter two. Young man, young man. Come here real quick. Come here real quick. Park your bike. Come in. Uh, start of verse seven. Luke chapter two and verse seven. Move your bike from the from the front of the door. Put it right here so you don't block nobody. And she brought forth uh -huh. his firstborn. Hold on, hold on. Come here, come here, come this, come right here. Come right here. You, you believe in uh, Christmas? Do you believe it? Pause that music so you'll, you'll get confused. Hey, brother, what's going on, bro? We're going, we're, going, we're going over when Christ was born. You interested? All right. Do you believe, do you celebrate Christmas? 
So you believe Christ was born on December 25th? Yes, yes. You believe that? Yes. Who taught you that? Huh? Come on, talk to me, bro. Where'd you learn that from? You don't know? You just celebrate because everybody does it? Huh? Give me uh, um, Exodus, was it 31? Do not follow most to do evil. Exodus chapter 23 and verse 2. Come on. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. You hear that, bro? You cannot follow a multitude to do evil because celebrating Christmas is evil. Right. It's not in the Bible. And the same people that are celebrating Christmas, they're telling you that they believe in the Bible. Meanwhile, it's nowhere near the Bible. Read it again. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Where's your father from? Young man, where your father from? Uh, Haiti. Haiti? All right, you so called Haitian, right? All right, because a lot of Haitians celebrate Christmas, right? Read that again. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. You hear that? You must not follow a multitude, meaning you see everybody doing something, you're doing, something, you're doing the same thing. The Bible says you must not do that. Now, I'm going to show you when Christ was born. He was not born a dead or winner. Read that for me, Luke 2. Luke chapter 2 and verse 7. Come on. And she brought forth her firstborn son. You know who the she is? Since you believe in Christmas. The she is Mary. You know Mary was the mother of Christ, right? Okay, very good. Read. And wrapped him in a swaddling clothes. Come on, brother man. Go ahead. And laid him in a manger. In a manger, meaning what? Remember, remember back then, it wasn't like today. Hey, okay, come on here, bro. Come right here. Okay, very good. We're going to go over all that, Tishan. We teaching our young man. You believe in Christmas? You believe in Christmas, right? He said the same thing too. So, in other words, Christ was born in dead and winter, meaning he was born in December, 25th, right? That's what they're saying, right? Are you a Christian? You're not? But you just. Hmm? Say that again? Grandmother. Your grandmother is. Okay. You, do your grandmother drag you to church sometimes? Your grandmother, does it drag you to church sometimes? Like in your birthday, like special days and stuff like that? Right, right. They do that, right? All right, so we're gonna we're gonna show you that the script we just read in Exodus 23 verse 2 that you must not follow a multitude to do evil. That's what we're teaching the young man. Christ was not born in the dead of winter. Why? Because it's the beginning of time. Right? I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Read what you got. Luke chapter 2 and verse 7. Come on. And she brought forth her firstborn son. Mary brought forth Christ. Go ahead. And wrapped him in a swaddling cloak. Come on. And led him in a manger. Led him in a, in a manger. Go ahead. Because there was no room for them in the inn. Stop. Spell in. I N N E. What does that come to mind? What comes to mind? Look, it says the a manger is where they, is where they uh, watch animals, right? It's like a what do you call that? Um, it's like a a, 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 a a park where they they gather all the animal when it's actually cold outside. You understand? That's a manger. So. They went to the manger because there was no place in the end. When you see the word I N N, what comes to mind? Huh? In. Say that again? Yeah, what is that? Ah! What comes to mind today? That's a hotel. Hampton Inn. Holiday Inn. Read that again. And she brought forth her firstborn son. Check it out. And wrapped him in a, in a swaddling clothes. In a swaddling clothes. And led him in a manger. Uh huh. Because there was no room for them in the end. There was no room for them in the end. What was going on? Cause there was no room in the hotel. There was no room in a hotel for them to get a hotel to give birth to the greatest man that ever walked the earth, to your savior, your Messiah. Why? What was happening? I'm gonna show you what was happening. Uh, hold that, give me Deuteronomy 16, 16. Watch this, this was what's going on. Deuteronomy 16, verse 16. Deuteronomy, chapter 16, and verse 16. Go ahead. Three times in a year. Three times in a year. Shall all the males appear before the Lord thy God. Uh-huh. In the place which he should choose. Read. And the feast of unleavened bread. And the feast of unleavened bread. And the and, and the feast of weeks. And the feast of weeks. So in other words, for feast of unleavened bread, you have what you call Passover, because during the Passover you eat bread for seven days, right? Go ahead. 
And in the Feast of Tabernacle. In the Feast of Tabernacle, Feast of Weeks is what you call Pentecost, Feast of Weeks, or uh, what's the other word? Uh, uh, Feast of Fruits. First fruits. Go ahead. And they shall not appear before the Lord empty. So now go back to Luke. Luke chapter 2 and verse 7. Come on. And she brought forth her firstborn son uh -huh. and wrapped him in a swaddling clothes. Because where was Christ born? In Bethlehem, right? Bethlehem is a city where? In Jerusalem, correct? So remember, we just read that they had to go to Jerusalem every year for the feast of. Passover, Pentecost, and also the Feast of um, Tabernacles. Tabernacles, right? So go back to Luke, read that again. Luke chapter 2 and verse 7. Come on. And she brought forth her firstborn son mm -hmm. and wrapped him in the swaddling clothes. You would clothes. never regret hearing this information. Nobody will ever been bozo you guys ever again. Go ahead. And wrapped him in a swaddling clothes uh -huh. and laid him in a manger. Read. Because there was no room for them in the inn. The reason why there was no room for them in the inn because all the Jews had to go to Jerusalem for that feast. Now we're going to find out what feast was that. Now jump to verse 42, 41. Verse 41. Come on. Now his, pre his parents went to Jerusalem. Now his parents went to Jerusalem. Remember we just read that in Deuteronomy 16, right? Read. Every year. What? Every year. Every year. Why they go there every year? We just went over there. Say it again. For what? For the feast. Why? Come on, brother. You got to pay attention. Read it again for him. Now, his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. At the what feast? At the feast of the Passover. Mm -hmm. Remember, we just read that in Deuteronomy 16, 16. At the feast of the Passover, every year, how old was he? How old did he turn? And when he was 12 years old. He just turned 12 years old. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 